Microsoft Defender is now available for pretty much everyone. Today, Microsoft announced Defender for individuals. So this technology has existed already for a long time. Of course, Defender has existed as a built-in anti-malware tool on Windows since like 2006. That's pretty much where it grew up and where it evolved. But after it got renamed from Windows Defender to Microsoft Defender, it became cross-platform because it was no longer just about protecting Windows anymore. You know, Microsoft, they're always looking for ways to expand into other device markets. So they made Microsoft Defender for Mac, iOS, and Android. Uh, but originally, this software solution was business only. Now, the features still do vary a bit from platform to platform. For example, on iOS and iPad OS, there is no antivirus. The closest thing on there would be some web phishing protections. And there's also a dashboard on there to see alerts from your other devices because Microsoft wants you to use this on all of your devices, just like Microsoft 365. In fact, it actually looks like they bundle this Microsoft Defender together with Microsoft 365. So yeah, in the typical Microsoft fashion, you gotta sign up for all of this BS in order to get Defender if that's the one thing that you actually want. Which brings me to addressing the elephant in the room. Is this something that you would actually want or that anybody would actually want? Is there any reason at all to use Microsoft Defender on any device other than Windows? Well, a lot of you watching this are probably interested in digital privacy and digital security. But those two things are different. Sure, most programs and mitigations that you would take to achieve one would also grant you the other, but Microsoft Defender is an example to the contrary. So this is a security tool. Okay, it's not a privacy tool in any way. I'm pretty sure that everything Microsoft produces is going to have some corporate spyware that is baked into it so that Microsoft can get some insight into your computer habits so that they can collect some more information about you. In fact, that's literally what Microsoft Defender does, okay? If we look at the Defender features right here, one of those features is continuous monitoring. So who do you think is doing this monitoring? Microsoft is, of course. They're going to have a very close eye on what you're doing on all of your devices, all of your activities for security reasons. So if you're like a lot of desktop Linux users who looked at how Windows and how Microsoft was evolving over the years with more backdoors and monitoring and telemetry being built in to the operating system, and you just said, okay, I'm out. Windows is officially too spooky for me. I'm gonna go install Linux. Then you're not going to want this. And yes, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Linux is actually a thing. If you're using one of these distros where it's officially supported, okay, System D is basically a hard requirement of this if you couldn't tell, because of course it is. Of course, Microsoft is going to make the most controversial in its system in the Linux world a hard requirement for their proprietary security solution. And although it is technically possible to install Microsoft Defender on several different GNU Linux distros, I'm pretty sure that Richard Stallman would personally kneecap you for doing that. So make sure that crutches and maybe a wheelchair are in your budget if you're planning to use Defender, uh, Microsoft Defender on Linux for some weird reason. One thing that I will say is if you're looking for better security on your system, and mind you, I'm only talking about marginally better security, then Microsoft Defender might actually be able to provide that to you. Because even though it's a huge violation of privacy, I mean, Microsoft Defender, it's basically Microsoft shoving their arm way up your system's ass and rubbing their greasy fingers all over your computer's files, you know, looking at them, examining them in real time all day long. But while Microsoft is elbow deep in your system, it's a lot harder for any other intruders to fit in. Windows Defender is actually really good at detecting and blocking malware compared to other antivirus solutions, both free and paid. That's one of the things that really surprised me when I was doing like pen testing lab stuff, trying to create payloads to infect Windows machines, trying to understand how malware actually worked, um, virtual machines and things like that that I was creating with different versions of Windows. 
and different antiviruses installed to them. And I was surprised that these other paid antiviruses would fail to block my malware, especially when I'm not an expert at this stuff. You know, I was mostly just right, running Metasploit modules, or if I would run those uh, generated payloads through no distribute, same thing. I would get that it's clean through all these different antivirus programs, all these ones that are considered really good, but Microsoft Defender was pretty consistent in finding them. Defender and Kaspersky were the two hardest ones for me at that time. And a big part of what makes Defender so powerful is the fact that it's scanning and analyzing not just your files, but the files of every other Windows machine out there with Defender enabled, which is pretty much gonna be every Windows 10 and Windows 11 machine, and I think Windows 8 too, I think Defender was a part of that as well. So all of these, they're gonna have it enabled. Maybe they have some other additional paid antivirus that's running alongside it as well, but they're collecting all of those signatures on all those machines. And you gotta think that if it's a Windows user machine, they're probably going to some sketchier parts of the internet, right? Like people, you know, everyone who's gaming, well, not everyone who's gaming, but I guess most of the people who are playing pirated games, uh, they're probably doing that on Windows, right? They're downloading cracked programs for Windows, and that's where a lot of viruses come from. Or just downloading software for Windows in general, right? Going out and getting a random EXE, that's a good way to get your system infected. So all of these signatures that are being created while people are out there doing stupid stuff is all being added to the massive database of virus signatures from those machines. So Microsoft probably has more of those than any other mal anti-malware company. And this lets the Microsoft hive mind that is Defender just create better defenses for new malware a lot faster compared to the competition. Your computer or phone basically becomes part of the Borg when you install Microsoft Defender to it. You're part of the collective now. And when one of your comrades gets wounded by some malware, your device instantly learns how to defend itself from it. At least if your device remains connected to Microsoft servers, because they keep most of their virus definitions in the cloud instead of stored locally. That's another difference between Defender and, well, different antiviruses will uh, use different solutions, whether they want you to use their cloud or local. But if they're more cloud-based, then... If a hacker is smart enough to put, say, like a time bomb in their malware so that it doesn't actually trigger until your device is without internet, then Defender and these other anti-malware solutions that are cloud-based become a lot easier to bypass. Remember, the fist of Microsoft, it has to be really deep in your system to block the malware effectively. And like I said earlier, Microsoft Defender or just about any anti-malware solution is ultimately only gonna increase your device's security by a very small margin. The best solution is simply not clicking the big green download button that you see on websites or sketchy links in your emails or trying to pirate games on your Windows machine. That is a much more powerful antivirus solution than Defender or anything else. So take some time to start learning cybersecurity. It's gonna save you tons of money. Uh, not even just on not having to have an antivirus subscription, but obviously protect yourself from ransomware and downtime, being able to do your job. And ultimately, it's a more effective solution. Like and comment to hack the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey and have a great day.